Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv, and today we are taking a look at the Swiss watch company Arc GMT, a Swiss-made quartz watch that takes a different approach to the traditional World Time GMT. Swiss watch company is an American micro brand that produces all of its watches in Switzerland. It's a family-owned and operated business, and I have reviewed quite a few of their watches in the past. The last one I reviewed was the Burgundy Hyper G that I loved so much that now I have a blue one I can call my own. A watch that is forever going to be a part of my collection. This watch was sent to me on loan from the company for review, and once I'm done with it, it will make its way back to their US-based headquarters. The ARC GMT is available in six colorways, seven including the newly released edition I'm showing you here today, and it costs 250 US dollars. It comes in this nice leather watch case that holds two watches. You also get three years of warranty with your watch. Here are the measurements. The width of the case is 38.5 millimeters. Its thickness is nine millimeters. The distance between the lugs is 20 millimeters. Lug tip to lug tip is 45 and a half millimeters. And the watch weighs 60 grams. Water resistance is 100 meters, perfect for everyday use. At first glance, the dial seems simple, almost minimalistic. When you look at it up close, well, it's like nothing else I've seen. It has a concave shape, meaning it is rounded inwards, and sort of a radial brushed finish that also looks glossy somehow. The result of that is a nice and subtle sunburst effect, and quite a unique look. The indices are actually carved into the dial, outlined in light blue, and filled with white colored loom. There's no minute track surrounding the dial, but we do find thin orange lines on the five minute marks. The main attraction is located at the six o'clock position. An oval GMT complication window reveals a 24 hours disc that replaces the traditional 24 hours GMT hand. If you look closely, you'll see a little arrow pointing to the center of the window to the current second time zone hour. The numbers on the GMT wheel are printed in orange as well. Swiss watch company's name and logo are found below the 12 o'clock Arabic, mostly printed in black, with the exception of the little cross in the center of the logo that seems to be engraved into the dial. GMT is printed above the GMT window, and Swiss made is printed on both sides of the orange 30 minutes marker. The hour and minute hands are wide syringe styled with plenty of loom applied to their centers. They're highly polished, accompanied by a really nice seconds hand with a loomed lollipop counterbalance and a long orange colored arrowhead tip. You can trust SWC to deliver great loom. Those indices are filled with 0.4 millimeters of grade A BGW9 Swiss Superluminova, and they didn't skim on the hands either. This provides that brilliant bright blue glow that does last for hours before fading out. Just like all other SWC models, the Arc GMT sports a flat sapphire crystal with 16 layers of anti-reflective coating distributed between its inner and outer sides with an added layer of sapphire coating for additional protection. This means that the crystal is going to be extremely resistant to scratches and extra legible in all lighting conditions. The stainless steel case is beautifully finished with fine brushing on the tops of the lugs and on the sides of the case and high polishing on the fixed bezel and the chamfered edges. A layer of hardening coating was applied to the case bringing its toughness up to a minimum of 800 Vickers. An unprotected push-pull crown is found at the three o'clock position, deeply gnarled and signed with the brand's logo. Pull it out once and twist down to rotate the GMT wheel and set a second time zone. Twisting the crown up at the first position would normally allow you to set the date on this movement, but since the date function doesn't get utilized on this watch, twisting up has no effect. The case back screws down into place and features radial brushing and the usual spec sheet engraved around the brand's name and logo and the model's name and reference number. 
At the heart of the ARC GMT lies a Ronda 515.24, a Swiss one-joule quartz GMT movement. Its official papers state an accuracy of minus 10 to plus 20 seconds per month and 45 months of battery life. The ARC GMT comes on a hybrid suede leather and rubber strap. Its navy blue leather top on this colorway is glued onto the black rubber bottom, giving it a nice and clean look with the absence of any stitchings. The rubber part is slated to conform nicely to the wrist and has quick release spring bars for easy change. The buckle is made of stainless steel, completely polished with the logo engraved on top. One important thing to note about the strap is that it's quite short, and according to Swiss watch company, it will not accommodate a wrist larger than 7.5 inches. If your wrist is larger than 7.5 inches, you should leave them a note at checkout, and they'll provide you with an alternative nylon strap. My recommendation is that you leave them the same note if you have a 7-inch wrist too. And here it is on my 7-inch wrist. While this wouldn't be my first choice of colorway for the ARC GMT, I have to say it looks great on the wrist. The size is nice, and I especially like how slim it is and how close to the wrist it wears. The strap is comfortable, and it looks great, but it is on the short side, which is a bit of a nuisance. The longer strap would be a better fit for a 7-inch wrist for sure. Out of the ARC GMT range, this is the least legible option. There isn't much contrast between the dial and the hands. Though it isn't particularly hard to read the time, it's definitely something to keep in mind. Let's do the pros and cons. We'll start with the cons. The first thing is something that doesn't really bother me, but since a few people brought it up in my previous SWC reviews, I thought I should at least mention it this time. Some people say SWC's logo looks cartoonish to them, and even say it keeps them from buying an SWC watch. While I can see what they mean with that font SWC used for their logo, I don't mind it at all. I've mentioned the short strap, but again you can ask for a longer one, and I've mentioned this colorway being less legible than the others in the ARC GMT range. The last thing is the lack of a mini track. I get that they wanted to go with a more minimalistic look, but I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity, especially since the seconds hand does hit all the existing markers perfectly. On the pro side, this is a unique and good looking timepiece. It takes a different approach to the current GMT craze that seems to be flooding the watch market recently. The concave dial looks really cool, and I really like how they implemented those almost sandwich indices and how they integrated the GMT complication into the 6 o'clock window. Besides that, you get great loom, 16 layers of anti-reflective coating on a sapphire crystal, a beautifully finished stainless steel case with hardening coating to help fight off scuffs and scratches, an accurate Swiss movement, and 100 meters of water resistance. All of this for $250 for a Swiss-made watch? I think it's definitely something to consider. If you want to check the ARC GMT out for yourselves, as well as the other watches in Swiss watch company's lineup, you'll find a link to their website in the description of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection, and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel, and connect with me on a more personal level. Here's a quick link to my review of my favorite SWC watch, the Hyper G, and to the previous version of the ARC with a titanium case and no GMT function. I want to thank Swiss Watch Company for their ongoing friendship and support of this channel, and to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.